Bertemu kembali dalam niaga awal ini. Sudah pasti sejak dua tahun yang lepas kita saksikan cabaran ekonomi berlaku disebabkan oleh penularan COVID-19. Cabaran ekonomi ini memaksa dan juga membawa PMKS kita, perusahaan mikro, kecil dan juga sederhana untuk berpindah kepada teknologi seperti e-dagang dan juga adaptasi teknologi yang lebih meluas dalam uh, aspek pendigitalan syarikat mereka. Namun dalam keadaan semasa kita melihat Pendicitaan ini meskipun dipercepatkan ketika COVID melanda, masih ramai lagi PMK, PMKS di Malaysia ini khususnya masih lagi belum mengadaptasi. Mengikut data, hanya 26% sahaja perniagaan telah melakukannya dengan selebihnya berdepan dengan cabaran tertentu yang mereka sifatkan sukar untuk mereka adaptasi dan sebagainya. Bagaimanakah untuk kita melihat adaptasi ini boleh diperkasakan lagi dan apakah ancaman-ancaman yang mungkin wujud yang harus mereka perhatikan cabaran juga dan bagaimanakah penyelesaian ini boleh kita capai. Itu yang saya bincangkan pada jam ini. Saya bersama dengan Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif ViewQuest iaitu Vignesha Murthy yang bersedia pada ketika ini. Good morning Mr. Vignesha. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. First of all, uh, we've seen digital adoption among MSMEs uh, especially in Malaysia uh, accelerated during the pandemic while there is room for, for improvement. But uh, uh, what is the state of digital adoption in Malaysia uh, currently and what are challenges MSMEs face uh, in when it comes to digitalization? Um, the biggest challenge um, in facing Malaysia today um, in terms of digital adoption is the lack of um, pervasive connectivity. So this is resulting in the pace of adoption of uh, digital transformation um, to be lagging um, in Malaysia. Okay, and uh, cost is always a concern uh, for MSMEs, especially in Malaysia, uh, worldwide in that sense. But they are also face difficulty uh, when it comes to uh, technical expertise, for instance. And in the end, they, are, they decided not to adapt uh, or to go uh, for uh, digital adoption, for instance. But how ViewQuest uh, uh, can help overcome this barrier for MSMEs? I think, um, you know, in, when it comes to, to digital adoption of, of technologies, um, there are so many choices. Um, and when the customer has to look at what are the technologies available and how to, how to even start, um, it can be very challenging. And, uh, and in many cases, because they don't know where to start, um, they put off such projects. So this is where, um, from a cybersecurity standpoint, as companies adopt more or become more digital, they will become more exposed from a cybersecurity standpoint. And this is where what we are trying to do at Viewpress is to offer or to make things simple for the customer and offer cybersecurity protection as a service where we leverage on the technology partners that we have um, and the technologies that we use to translate that into a service that's easy for the customer to understand without them having to invest in the people and the resources to make this happen. Talking about cyber security, what is the, the state of cyber security awareness uh, in Malaysia, given the fact that digital adoption is on the rise? Um, I mean, cyber security awareness is always a, a very big challenge, right? Um, there are many parties that have to play a part um, when it comes to cyber security. One is obviously the consumer themselves, who are users of the technology. The second is companies that are becoming digital and putting their um, services um, online. So, you know, regardless of how much um, cybersecurity tools and implementations that you put in place um, as a company, if the end user is also not aware, um, many bad things that can happen. You know, we are seeing many banking related scams and phishing scams where where people are having their bank accounts hacked into um, purely because people are just you know awareness is just so low so we really need to do more to educate our customers uh, or consumers educate the businesses that are going digital um, what they need to do to to provide a safer environment for all cyber security uh, the threat and also scams happened even before the pandemic struck malaysia but uh, how has the pandemic led to a rise in cyber crime and also scams uh, in the country? So I guess, I mean, this is quite interesting because um, obviously the criminals as well now have to work from home <laughs> with, the, with the whole pandemic. But the, what has been happening now is um, employees that used to traditionally work in the office are now bringing their computers home to work. Mm. Now, when they bring their computers home to work, um, they don't have the security infrastructure at home uh, to protect those computer resources 
uh, which are which have now been brought home. So the cyber criminals now see this as a massive opportunity um, to compromise these computers or gain access to corporate resources because the defenses are far less at home than they would be in the office. So because of the pandemic and because everybody has to, I mean, you know, has to be working from home, this has created a massive opportunity, um, which has resulted in a lot of increase in cybercrime just because people are working from home and most homes uh, have very little cybersecurity. And this is where um, we, we are launching uh, something called SecureNet for the consumer and the SME in Malaysia, where they do not need to invest in any firewall or security appliance in their home. Their internet connection delivered to them by Buquest is natively secure. So the customer only needs to go into their portal and pick what security level they wish to have, you know, from, from basic to, to very paranoid. Um, and that is a step forward in helping um, protect our consumers and customers um, from cyber threats. Uh, as more local organization, MSMEs especially, uh, accelerate digital, trans digital transformation uh, for their company, uh, what can they do to enhance security measures and, uh, and remain resilient? I know there's, there, are lot, there are a lot of uh, solutions out there, but how for MSMEs, which the cost is constant and all that, but what are the things that the low hanging fruit uh, of sort that they can do uh, to protect their system and their workers and their companies basically? I mean, I think the, 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 the most basic thing that they need to do is um, to start off um, to secure the, the servers that are hosting these applications. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, um, deploy a firewall, right? So in many cases, we have developed many solutions for the SMEs and the consumers. Um, and we would be more than happy to help our customers secure um, their online presence um, in delivering a more digital solution to the customers. Uh, help us to understand what, what, so, what, what are the, the types of threats and also attacks do you foresee happening more in 2022 and beyond as we speak more about adoption, digital ado uh, adoption among MSMEs and all that. Of course, there's uh, these people, you know, taking chance, uh, doing uh, uh, scams and all that. What, what are the trends do you see in 2022, 2022 and moving forward? I mean, definitely, I think what we're going to see um, grow a lot is a lot of... Um, Traditionally, a lot of the scams were very much related to or targeted large institutions, banks, um, government agencies, and things like that. Um, I think what we are going to be seeing is a lot of downward movement um, where your cyber crime is not going to be targeting the banks, but the SMEs and the me medium-sized companies. Um, you know, they're still going to be deploying phishing scams and things like that because the SMEs are far less in a position to, to be aware and necessarily have the right tools to prevent this, right? So, I mean, I was talking to a customer the other day and I was saying, you know, um, a very simple phishing scam that, that somebody could go against would be to send your customers an SMS saying, claim a $500 voucher at the restaurant by paying $50 now, right? Most people would gladly do that because of the promise of, of 10 times value, right? Um, and the SMEs are just simply not equipped to protect themselves against these things. And uh, we are rolling out 5G uh, in Malaysia and how uh, uh, ViewQuest you know, uh, uh, aims to capitalize on this and enhance and expand your uh, product and services uh, offerings. Yeah, so with the 5G rollout, you're going to have a lot more connected devices and a lot more connected people. And the same way we saw, um, you know, cybercrime increase with the, with the advent of the pandemic and people having to work from home, um, more connected devices, more connected people will result in more cybercrime, right? So we need to be um, aware of this and we need to deploy services um, to help secure our customers regardless of how they are connected to the internet. So, you know, in the past, and, and I think this is a position that um, we take at UQuest, um, 
as telcos, as internet service providers who provide an internet connection to both consumers and SME, um, it is our responsibility to provide a safer internet for our customers, right? For the longest time, internet service providers and telcos have chose to turn a blind eye. If you, I mean, your home, your office, your highways, your, your borders of your country, if somebody came across or, or wanted to enter your country home business with a weapon, with a gun, or with a bomb, would you allow him to do so, right? But in the telecom environment, in the internet space, we allow bad actors to travel and take advantage of our networks. It has to stop here, right? The service providers need to take decisive action to do things to provide a safer internet for our customers. And right now, nobody is doing that. Uh, last but not least, moving forward for MSMEs uh, uh, to do some improvement uh, when it comes to digital adop uh, adoption and uh, adaptation as well. What kind of the things that they should focus on, especially about cybersecurity, and what kind of they they can do in terms of you know financial and non-financial to invest uh, uh, in cybersecurity and all that? I think the, the the very most thing most important thing is is really awareness, right? Educate your customers, educate your staff about what are the possible threats that can happen. Mm -hmm. Because without awareness, um, you know, it's it regardless of how much you spend, um, it's going to be very challenging. Work with reputable partners um, who have experience in securing um, your infrastructure. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of cloud service providers, your Amazons of the world, your Googles of the world, your Microsofts of the world. You know, um, use these technologies that exist um, to, to create a safer environment. All right. Mr. Vigneswas, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate your thoughts and your inputs about uh, cybersecurity and uh, uh, for especially for uh, MSMEs in Malaysia. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, MSMEs is adapting into new uh, digital and technology and we hope uh, you know cybersecurity is enhanced in Malaysia in terms of adaptation uh, by the uh, MSMEs. Thank you so much, Vigneswas Murthy, Ketua Pakai Eksekutif uh, View Quest membincangkan perkara tersebut. Itu saja untuk kita uh, bincangkan dalam niaga awal ini untuk jam ini. Saya Najib Aruf. Assalamualaikum dan salam hormat.